Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Morgan here at The Life of Tillman's and today I am going to bring you our May update. May was nowhere near as busy as all the previous months, but as I've talked about, we pretty much finished up all of our curriculum. To my surprise though, guys, my oldest daughter is doing Saxon by four and we counted up the amount of lessons that she had left and she has about 30 lessons left. I was shocked. I was like, maybe we took off too much time as we were going throughout the year. We were off pretty much every Friday, took some time in December, but she has about 30 lessons left and that's gonna take us through the summer with her doing three lessons per week or so. Um, it's just gonna have to work that way. I'm not going to move her on to the next curriculum until she has finished that. She's not struggling with Saxon. It works really good for her. We just lost track of time and took some breaks, and so she's not done with it. It has a lot of lessons and tests and investigations anyway, but we have to finish that up, which is fine. She enjoys it. I'll sit down with her um, if she needs me to, and we'll get that done. My middle baby girl who is on her way to fourth grade, she finally finished her teaching textbooks. It was good, we got it done, we have teaching textbooks behind us now, and we're gonna move on to something else. But in the meantime, during the summer, I'm going to have her work on things like elapsed time, general time. Um, she will also work on the 10 days to division uh, mastery, which is something that she did not finish throughout the school year, and we need just a little bit of extra help with those division facts. We have that already. Another thing is I have a lip, Lift the Flap book by Usborn that I bought last year. It's perfect for her right now. She really loves getting her hands on everything so she can lift those flaps up. She can read what's going on. She's still getting her math enrichment. And on top of that, we'll add in games throughout the summer as well, just to make it really fun. I will do that with my all of my girls, even my oldest daughter who's still working on Saxon. We will have time in there for her to do uh, math games as well. So that's what we're doing with math. Other than that, we are still finishing up and working on writing strands. We have been doing that all school year, as well as uh, Wordly Wise. Both of my oldest daughters are working on Wordly Wise. That will pretty much be what we are working on as far as curriculum for the summer. I did decide to add in a mental health unit study, um, very small, but it, basically marries mental health in children with Christianity, which I know it, I personally feel like that that's lacking. It's lacking in that a lot of people don't feel like the two go hand in hand and I disagree. So we are going to be doing a unit study on that. I'm excited to dive into it. I will share more with you about that. Please, while you're here, if you like what you're seeing, go ahead, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos uploaded on the channel. Outside of that, we started our flight unit study, which has been going great. We made an attempt about a week ago to fly a kite, and we were about 50% mm, successful with flying that kite. <laughs> so now we're diving into the books, learning about how things fly. We're going to do field trips, and we're going to make paper airplanes and use our kits and everything. And toward the end, we will go out and make an attempt at flying our kite again and see if we are more successful. So that is a goal that we have set for it. We had a really good time trying to fly this kite. It has been several years since I was a child myself, since I have flown a kite. So I didn't remember exactly what I was doing either, but it was fun trying. So we're gonna keep going with our flight unit study. That is going to be our summer. I am adding in because I owe my girls some field trips. We're going to just explore our state. We're not doing traveling outside of the state. Gas is expensive. We don't have time as well. Um, we have a lot more free time in the fall for travel. So this summer, we're just going to be traveling throughout the state, enjoying what we can see right here. I owe my girls a couple of field trips because I skipped some months throughout the school year. So we will do those as well. And just really sitting back, relaxing and enjoying, of course, always on the menu always and forever is reading my girls are great readers they enjoy reading it is never a struggle for them to pick up a book and read so we're going to just continue with our reading and stick around because this week i will be sharing with you what our summer reading plan looks like i am excited about it and it's not even for me so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that as far as my five-year-old goes, I keep wanting to call her a toddler and she reminds me when I do that that she is not a toddler and she's not, she's five. So we are still finishing up her letter of the week curriculum. Yes, there are only 26 letters in the alphabet. However, my daughter has been doing speech therapy for about a month and a half now, which is 
been really good for her. But it's throughout the year, I took it slowly when we came to our letter of the week so that I could make sure that she was pronouncing all of the letters correctly. She can identify them, uppercase, lowercase. We don't have any issues with that. She knows all of the sounds that they make. I want her speech when she pronounces those sounds to be clear so that it helps her to understand this is a big foundational step for her learning how to read and making sure that she's able to do that successfully. So we are just taking our time going through that slowly. She has two letters of the alphabet left and then we will just keep working on some of our speech therapy um, that we have been doing along with adding in readers for her as well. She will also be a part of our summer reading plans. Um, other than that, for the summer, we're done. We are just relaxing and enjoying our garden. That's pretty much how our May has been going and I'm pretty sure the rest of the summer will go that way as well. Also, extracurricular activities, I always share that, but I have both of my oldest daughters are doing volleyball. My oldest daughter will also be doing two basketball teams and then my youngest two will be doing gymnastics. So we have a jam-packed summer full of extracurricular activities and we are gonna be spending lots of time at the swimming pool. For me, what I have been doing as a mom and a teacher, I am simply going through our curriculum for the upcoming school year. I like to do that during the summer when there's not so much pressure to focus on your current curriculum. It just makes it a lot easier and it makes it fun <laughs> and I really do enjoy doing it. I'm just flipping through the curriculum, familiarizing myself with what my girls will be expected to do, what I as their mother and their teacher will be expected to do, and areas that I know that I will definitely need to be by their side to help assist them so that they are learning what they need to learn within that curriculum. It's fun, I just flip through it. Um, also, if there's any prep work, like anything that needs to be cut out or copies or anything like that, that is what I will spend the summer doing. Now, this is not a super labor intensive process. I'm not spending three, four or five hours a day going through this, maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes while I'm listening to TV or something like that. It's, it's super easy, very chill just a process that I like to do so that when I start the school year, I'm not scrambling trying to get in all of this information with our curriculum all at one time. You're probably wondering, Morgan, where is your curriculum? It's coming. Make sure that you're here because next week I will start sharing our fifth, fourth kindergarten and family subjects curriculums for the 2022-2023 school year. You don't wanna miss it. I am ecstatic to share it with you guys. I'm so, so, so excited. So make sure you stick around so that you don't miss any of that. That is my May update, short, sweet, and to the point. I hope you got what you needed and I will see you guys right back here at the Life of Tillman's next time. Bye.